I think that she made a decision to lip sync um, based on several factors. Do you think she did? I mean, have you... I think she did, yeah. What, I think... are, are there telltale signs? Uh, you can just... You can just tell. You can see her, her lips moving. Um, I, can, I can tell that she's not uh, singing live, definitely. I think she had her own voice in her ear. Um, so, so. She, so she... But that's terrifying. I mean, I, you, know, you know, I wear an earpiece, and if you yes. hear your own voice, it's incredibly off-putting. Yeah. Well, I think that's to help her um, have a guide so that she knows where she is in, in the song. And because different factors um, make it incredibly difficult, such as um, how big the venue is. Obviously, they're outside. It's massive. Um. When you are Beyonce and you've played the biggest venues that there are in the world, OK, an inauguration is quite something, why would you want to lip sync it? Well, I think Beyonce is really showing her perfectionist side, and perhaps that is where she is today. Um, she's someone who I make reference to on a daily basis because she does so many things right. So she's already made a name for herself. Um, so I think that she chose to lip sync because uh, several factors. I, I did hear that she didn't have a rehearsal with the band before. So I think that just shows that she couldn't bear to be seen making a mistake. I think that's really at the heart of it. You see, because I, well, well, I mean, I, I was in Washington and we were all watching it and we're, everyone was waiting for that moment. And we were all watching at our live point. I mean, I'd like to say we were so close to Beyonce that we could see her lips move. We weren't. We were watching it on TV monitor. Not one of us thought she's faking it. And all right. of us thought, wow, what a voice. Mm-hmm. She was probably singing along with herself, and you could tell, I mean, she is an amazing singer. So she did so well with the pre-recorded track. I think um, probably she was very nervous to and be seen making a mistake. Just a final quick thought. If I was, if I was kind of, had a big introduction to do on a major program, would you recommend that I record it and just try and lip sync it afterwards, or do you think it would go horribly wrong? No. Would, I, I think no, that it. it's too scary to something to go wrong. If people find lip syncing, you know, negatively, they... They don't like it. They want to hear the real thing.